the 1920s classic children's book series, Uncle Wiggily's Adventures, written by Howard R. Garris, illustrated by Lang Campbell, and read by Grandma Nana. Thank you for joining Uncle Wiggily and I. Uncle Wiggily's Woodland Games, Adventure 2, A Party in the Woodland. Well, Nurse Jane, are you all ready? asked Uncle Wiggily one day as he loaded his automobile with good things to eat and started for the woodland. This is the day we are to have a party for the animal children. Nurse Jane climbed up beside the bunny rabbit gentleman. I hope it doesn't rain, she said, but I'll take my parasol anyhow. Uncle Wiggily said he hoped she would not need it, and away they went. Say, there's enough here to eat to keep us from starving for ten years, said one squiggle bug to the other. Those are my favorite guys, the little squiggle bugs. Oh, here comes Uncle Wiggily and Nurse Jane, cried Susie Littletail, the rabbit girl, as the auto ran into the woods like a trolley car going to a picnic. Now we'll have some fun, barked Jackie Bow Wow, and we have the stump tables all covered with white birch bark for cloth, squealed Bright Eyes, the little guinea pig girl. Well, that's fine, laughed Uncle Wiggily as he stopped the machine. Get ready to take out the things to eat. I hope we have enough for all. Nurse Jane said there'd be plenty, even if company came. All of a sudden, when some of the animal children were helping Nurse Jane set the stump tables, and after the automobile had been put to sleep on a green bed of moss, all of a sudden, Susie Littletail, the little rabbit girl, ran towards Uncle Wiggily with the sugar bowl. Oh, Uncle Wiggily, cried Susie. What's the matter? asked the bunny rabbit gentleman. Is it raining, or did Nurse Jane drop the pickles? Susie hopped closer. Oh, Uncle Wiggily, something big is buzzing inside the sugar bowl. I'm a scared to open it, cried Susie. Ha ha, laughed Uncle Wiggily when Susie gave him the sugar bowl. You shouldn't be afraid, Susie, my dear. Let's see what it is that's buzzing in the sweet stuff. The bunny took off the cover and out popped a big, jolly sugar bug. Excuse me for coming to your party without an invitation, Uncle Wiggily buzzed the bug. But I got shut in the sugar bowl by mistake and couldn't get out. Uncle Wiggily laughed and said, You are welcome to stay to our picnic with your friends, the squiggle bugs. Make yourself at home. Yay for squiggle bugs! I love them. Uncle Wiggily told Nurse Jane to set a special little stump table for the sugar and squiggle bugs. And when this had been done, all of a sudden, Arabelle Chick, the hen girl, led Uncle Wiggily to the stump where she was going to eat. Oh, Uncle Wiggily, look at what's in the butter, clucked Arabella. Ha ha, laughed Uncle Wiggily again. That is only a jolly grasshopper come to our party. You are very welcome, Mr. Grasshopper. After the party, you can do some jumping tricks for us. It's a bug party. I'm loving it. I can make myself useful as well as doing tricks to make you laugh, said the grasshopper to Uncle Wiggily. With my long legs, I can kick butter from the dish on the slices of bread for Nurse Jane. The bunny said that would be very nice. And while the grasshopper was helping the muskrat lady, all of a sudden... Tommy Cat took Uncle Wiggily by the paw and led him to another stump table. Look at the mouse eating the crackers, said the pussy. Shall I catch him? The bunny shook his head. Let the mouse stay to our party, he said. Excuse me for nibbling some of the picnic crackers, squeaked the little mouse, who had come to the party without being invited. But I'll wait on table if you'll let me. Uncle Wiggily told the mousy boy to go help Nurse Jane. So the mousy boy did, putting crackers on all the plates. Jackie Bow Wow gave a loud bark and cried, Oh, Uncle Wiggily, look at the mud turtle taking our hard-boiled eggs. The turtle was tossing them in the air like a juggler in the circus. If they fall and break, no harm is done, said Uncle Wiggily. <laughs> Let me see. What can I have you do to help, spoke Nurse Jane, as the mud turtle crawled over to her, saying Uncle Wiggily had sent him. Oh, I know. You are so slow and careful. 
you may pass the eggs, cried the muskrat lady. So she put a big plateful on the turtle's back. Just then, the guinea pig girl led Uncle Wiggily to another stump table and exclaimed, Look at the big snake trying to squeeze some pickles out of the jar, Uncle Wiggily. The bunny gentleman twinkled his pink nose. I'll help too, hissed the snake. What can a snake do to help us, asked Bright Eyes of Uncle Wiggily. I'll make myself into a swing for Nurse Jane, said the snake, which he did. And then a snake friend of his crawled out to come to the party and stretched himself between two stumps as a tightrope for Jackie Bow Wow and the animal boys to walk and do tricks. So everybody had a good time at the Bunny Woodland Party, and Nurse Jane said she never had so enjoyed a swing before, and there was plenty for everybody to eat. I love that when the stranger shows up, they pitch in and help and stay to enjoy the party. I like that a lot. Uncle Wiggily's Woodland Games Adventure 3, Uncle Wiggily Makes a Kite. Once upon a time, when Uncle Wiggily was out looking for an adventure, he saw Jackie and Petey Bow Wow flying their kites. Not far away, Curly and Floppy Twisty Tail, the piggy boys, were rowing their boat. Come and have a ride with us, Uncle Wiggily, grunted Floppy. Uncle Wiggily is going to help us fly our kites, barked Jackie, and he handed the bunny gentleman the end of the kite cord. Say, this is great fun, cried Uncle Wiggily, after he had held Jackie's kite for a little while. I think I'll make a kite of my own, and one without a tail to get tangled up. So the bunny gentleman bought some long sticks and large sheets of very strong paper, and began to make himself a big kite, the biggest kite ever made in Woodland. Oh, how funny for a bunny to make a kite, laughed Nurse Jane. Why shouldn't I make a kite, asked Uncle Wiggily. You're too old, answered Nurse Jane. In China, old men fly kites, said the bunny, as he finished pasting the paper on the sticks. Well, I'm going for a row with the piggy boys, laughed Nurse Jane. I don't see what the use there is for you to make a kite. The rabbit uncle twinkled his pink nose. Just you wait, he said as Nurse Jane went rowing. When Uncle Wiggily's large kite, which had no tail, was finished, the bunny rabbit gentleman let it sail up into the air. Oh, Jackie, barked Petey. Let's go see Uncle Wiggily fly his kite. The doggy boys hauled their kites down. As they stood beside the bunny uncle, watching his big kite, they heard a shout from Nurse Jane. Help, help, cried the muskrat lady. Our boat has struck a rock and is sinking. All of a sudden, as Curly and Floppy Twisty Tail were trying to row the sinking boat to the island shore, it struck another rock, upset and spilled them all into the river. We'll save you, Nurse Jane, squealed Floppy, and he and his brother helped the muskrat lady to wade to shore. Oh, how can we ever get off this island, asked Miss Fuzzy Wuzzy. I think Uncle Wiggily will save us, said Curly. Quick, doggy boys, called Uncle Wiggily to Jackie and Petey Bow Wow. We must haul down my big kite, attach a tail to it, and then fasten something on the tail so we can rescue Nurse Jane and the piggy boys from the island. So a tail was put on the kite and a large basket tied to the end of the tail. Then Uncle Wiggily let the wind blow the big kite over toward the island to save Nurse Jane. When the basket on the end of the tail of Uncle Wiggily's big kite was down close enough to the island, Nurse Jane got in. The piggy boys helped her. Hold fast now, called Uncle Wiggily on the other shore. I'll pull you safely over the water, and then I'll save Curly and Floppy the same way. Nurse Jane held tightly to the basket, and the piggy boys waited their turns. Jackie and Petey helped. Get ready, piggy boys, called Uncle Wiggily to Curly and Floppy when Nurse Jane had been safely landed from the kite airship. It's your turn to be saved. When the wind had blown the kite back to the island, 
Curly and Floppy got in the basket. Let me help pull them in, begged Nurse Jane. They help when the boat upset, and now I want to help then. I'll never laugh at you again, Wiggy, dear. It did not take long to bring Curly and Floppy over from the island in the kite basket, and when the piggy boys had safely landed, they danced a dance of joy with the Bow Wow puppy dogs around the kites of Jackie and Petey. Look at Nurse Jane, whispered Petey. I guess she likes kites now. She's flying Uncle Wiggily's. So the lady was. Isn't it queer how things happen sometimes? And it is true that people in China fly kites. Big, beautiful, beautiful kites. That was a fun story. Thank you for joining Uncle Wiggily and I. I see you, I love you, and I will miss you until I see you again. All of a sudden, there's my favorite guys, the little squiggle bugs. Uncle Wiggily laughed and said, you are welcome to stay to our... Can we start from the beginning? Look at what's in the butter, clucked Arabelle. Oh, Uncle Wiggily. Oh, it's a bug party. I'm loving it. Uncle Wiggily. Uncle Wiggly's. Uncle Wiggly's. Well, I'm going. Well, I'm going for a row with the piggy boys, laughed Snur 